Hello, this is Pat Cahill from Pat Cahill Metalworks, and today I thought I'd do a little bit something different and show you what you can do with what you might have originally called scrap. So, I make a lot of cup bracelets, and the ends, although sometimes they're different, I use this te technique quite a bit, where I just draw like a circle and then cut out, saw out these two things, rather than nip them off, I saw them. And over time, I've collected quite a bit of the pieces that, you know, that fit there, that was sawn out. So, what do you do with them? Well, you can have them refined, I guess, or you can use them for other projects. And let me show you some of the things I've done. So we'll put that aside. Well, one thing you can do is you can still play around with different designs with these pieces. And if you have pieces of scrap that, um, that you get a lot of, almost all of them can be made into some sort of neat design. This one works particularly well. And you can see that that's quite nice. And I could make two of those and maybe make earrings out of them. They would be very pretty earrings. And another thing, I'll bring this over. Now this would, uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher. Hopefully you can see this. Well, if you can't now, I will show it to you as soon as I get it redone. Can you see that? Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah. And let's just arrange those a little bit better so you can see the design I'm talking about. And what I've thought about doing with this is just making a bunch of them. Either just like this or, or put little holes, links, and make like a, a bracelet or you can make a cuff. If you do that, you can add so it's wider. There's just a lot of things one can do. Um, so that's another idea you can do with this scrap. And again, I'm saying, what I say is there's just almost all your scrap, you can start thinking about things you can do with. As long as it's a, you know, a consistent, consistent shape and somewhat size. Here's something I did with that, this scrap. I made these lovely earrings. And I'll just take Uh, okay, now you see them. Well, you don't. Let me back up and I'll cut so that you will see them. There you go. So they make really nice earrings. Well, that's another thing I did with them. I just uh, took two, put it together, and then a couple jump rings and another smaller set of two, soldered them together, and then I just put on some uh, ear wires. So, they come out quite nice, and I, I like them. I sold a few of these. And so that's another thing you can do with these. Another thing is that you can, and I like this, melt them directly onto a cuff. So you're basically fusing them onto a cuff. And I did that and I reticulated the surface just a little bit before and during the process of fusing these onto a sterling silver cuff. And it makes a great, great little cuff. So that's another thing you can do. And if you'd like to see it on a hand, It looks quite nice. It's a great cuff. So that's another thing. And there's just so many things you can do. Uh, one, here's another idea I had. I could just add a bunch of random ones to a copper bracelet and do what we did in my very first video, which is just melt the silver onto the copper. And with this, you want to make sure that you don't melt it all the way. So just, just get it so it's starting to melt and leave it so you leave the texture. Very similar to what I did here, but you have the, the contrasting of the copper and the silver. 
And if you, if you even wanted to go over, well not overboard, but if you even bring it up another notch, you could probably oxidize it. And because these sit much higher, you can take off all the oxidation so you have like bright shiny silver on, a, on top of a dark patinaed copper cuff. So that's another idea. There's, uh, geez, there's just a lot of things you can do. So the point here is have fun and be creative and never throw away anything. Even if you think this is just scrap, I'll just have it refined or whatever. Whenever you have a consistent pieces of silver that you get from making things that you make a lot of, like I do cuff bracelets and I get these pieces all the time, save them because you never know what you're going to be able to do with them. There's always something neat you can. So there you go. A cuff bracelet out of it, a pair of nice earrings, another idea for a cuff bracelet, and I showed you some ideas with uh, another set of earrings, another idea for them, and you know if you really wanted to go do the, the cuff bracelet that looks totally pierced all the way across, I showed you that design too, and that would be great. I will say that will be that will be uh, a lot of work, but uh, if you want to take your time and do something like that, I think you'd make a beautiful cup bracelet. So, this is a short one for today, and I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again sometime. Goodbye.